So it's the same thing. When the energy is not happening, what do you do? You just wait. You wait till when the energy comes. So what happened was it came around the first of the year. The year passed. A day or two went by. And then all of a sudden, whoo, this energy came up for me. Again, it was like on the phone, calling here, calling there, you know, talking to different people around the world, uh, people writing to me all of a sudden, hey, would you like to come to France to do something? Or do you want to come to New York City to do something? And, and the energy came back and I get into, I talk to my videographer and I say, hey, you know, I want to make this video, that video. Let's start doing this. Let's start doing that. And then all of a sudden, I could just feel all this energy is coming back. And I'm just revived and ready to do things and run around. So back to your question is, wherever I am with what is happening is exactly that's God's master plan in that moment. What's going to happen in the future, nobody knows. Nobody knows what's going to happen to the future. And yes, we have our desires. Now, of course, we all are trying to work towards manifesting our desires. Whatever is your desire. There's nobody on this planet who doesn't try to make things happen to their liking. You're not going to do something purposely to take you away from, from your desire. Not purposely. Maybe life takes you away from it. But you're going to do the best to go in the direction you want to go. Now, whether the tides, the river is going to take you in that direction or not, that's a different story. But ultimately, it's always to come back here in this moment and to relax into this moment and to surrender to what is what is going on, what is happening here and now in my life. Surrendering into that. While you have the desire to do whatever you want to do, you work on those desires, of course. But you don't want to miss being here and now. You don't want to sacrifice this moment for any future moments. You don't want to sacrifice you, who you are, for a future of you, a modified version of you that's going to be, you have an idea that you would be better, you would be different. Is an idea you have. So, does it mean you're going to sacrifice what you are right now? Because if you're going to do that, then when you get to what you want, it's still not good enough then. Because you haven't mastered being here now and accepting what is. So, now, how do we accept what is? Let, you know, because it's easy to say that than being done. Let's go a little bit to uh, the roots of it, of acceptance of what is. What, what does it mean? Okay. And, I mean, when you really sit with yourself, 
and come out of your thinking mind, whatever is happening in your mind, whatever ideas that the mind has, and you come out of that, okay? And you just come here in this moment. You're here in this moment, here, right now, not another time, okay? Here. The mind quiets down. And in here, is there anything missing in here? Check it out. You check it out for yourself. Don't go with my words. I want you to look at it yourself. Take a moment, this moment, and sink in and be here right now, in here. Outside of your thinking mind, outside of your thoughts, outside of your ideas of how things should be, okay? You put that aside, okay, cool? Everybody's with me? Yeah, all right, okay. And just be here now. And check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check out this moment. 